Hello and uh, welcome back. We are going to uh, go over orbital transfers and the uh, maneuvers involved in performing a transfer. Now, what a transfer is, as you remember, on our previous tutorials, we have orbited the Earth. So, how do I take that Earth orbit and turn it into, say, a lunar orbit? How do I go from Earth to the Moon? In this particular tutorial, I haven't uh, shown you the launch. Uh, I'm already in space. You already know how to launch. You already know how to uh, take care of that. What I do have to point out is that I am in a different ship. Actually, I am in something called the Delta Glider 4. It is a realistic, but still rather futuristic, space plane. The reason I say realistic but uh, futuristic is because it's totally feasible and possible to construct this vehicle using modern technology. You'll actually notice that there are no warp drives or anything on here. Uh, actually, you see it's pretty, a pretty standard chemical booster on there. So this is a pretty standard modern spacecraft. It's just uh, no companies in existence right now have uh, bothered to build one. But it is realistic. Don't worry. So I'm going to take this Delta Glider 4 from Earth orbit to the moon. So let me unpause here. Alright, so you'll notice that my uh, position has started to change. I'm already in a stable orbit. So the first thing I want to do is uh, change my multifunction displays. So on my right here, I'm going to select transfer. Here it is. Now I'm going to click HTO here. This stands for hypothetical orbit. This is the mode that this uh, multifunction display is in. And then I'm going to target the moon. So you'll notice I'm blinking no intersection. That means that no matter how far I boost, I am not ever going to cross the plane of the uh, moon's orbit. You'll also notice that this circle looks a little weird. Now keep in mind, the moon's orbit is pretty circular, so it's like this because we are way off angle. So think of it this way. Let's say you are looking at the Earth from the equator. Inclination is how far angled I am essentially how, uh, forgive the language, how, how cockeyed my orbit is relative to the uh, equator. So because I am orbiting at a different angle, I can't intersect. So I fix that using the Align Planes multifunction display. So I'm going to target the moon. Now what we're looking at here I see my inclination and the moon's inclination. You see that relative to me, the moon is pretty close to the equator at most times. Now down here, you see ascending node and descending node. So imagine a uh, imagine there were a sheet of metal, a disk extending from all directions from the Earth's equator. At the point where I cross that sheet of metal. Uh, whether I'm going up or going down is my ascending node and descending node. Whenever I want to fix my inclination, I'm doing it at either of those two points. So right now I gotta wait till P, my position, gets there. Now, for example, right now I have about 52 degrees until I, well, 51 now, until I get to my descending node. There, I'm going, it, it's going to tell me down here which way it wants me to uh, autopilot my thrust until my inclination matches the moon's. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to descending node. Alright, so it's telling me to engage thrust orbit normal. Down here it tells me how much thrust I need. So I've selected normal positive because that's what it's telling me to do. And I'm going to haul it. Now, I'm at the descending node. 
what I want to do is thrust until this number, my relative inclination, that is the difference between this number and this number, is zero. So what I'm going to do is uh, this has calculated how much thrust I need to apply total. This number will go down as I throttle forward and begin to thrust along orbit normal positive. And you'll notice my relative inclination is starting to go down. I want this to be zero, or as close to it as I can get. That way, when I increase my apoapsis, if you remember, I want my apoapsis to bring me in a path where I am suddenly more attracted by the moon than I am by the Earth, but we'll get to that. Now, I'm at descending node. You see that uh, my number here is going down. And you'll also notice me try to get this as perfect as I can. On a lunar transfer, you don't really have to worry about that so much. But uh, trust me, you'll be thanking yourself later. Make a habit of getting per getting perfect every single time. I mean, you don't have to fret about, you know, like 0.01 difference or something, but... Alright, I'm just going to spill the beans right now. When I finish all these tutorials, all these tutorials are preparing you for a ground at, at uh, Cape Canaveral to ground on Mars tutorial. Yeah, we're going to need some perfection for that one. So as you're playing around, if you want to follow follow along my Earth to Mars tutorial, you're gonna want you're gonna want to practice getting it right. So as this is flashing, it tells me that it's still telling me to do something. When it doesn't want me to do it anymore, that is when I'm gonna start screwing up where this is, it's gonna tell me kill thrust. You're gonna be tempted because it's still going to be fixing your inclination. You're gonna be tempted to continue doing that. If it doesn't tell you to engage thrust, do not engage thrust. Do not try to fix it. It's just, it's not worth it. Uh, I'll go into why later, but you just end up screwing it up. Now, you'll notice that, uh, yes, this would go a lot faster. I'm kind of staring at space right now if I were to uh, accelerate time. When I'm trying to get something right like this, you don't really want to do that. It's uh, not a good idea, let's say. Because when you accelerate time, the uh, accuracy of its math starts to decrease. So if I want precision, I don't want acceleration. If anything, I may actually want to slow time down. But uh, again, that introduces unrealism. That is, uh, I can get things more perfect than I normally would be able to do if I were sitting in this ship right now, which... Depending on how you want to play the game, you may be okay with that. Personally, I like to uh, keep things, at minimum, highly realistic. That is, uh, I will only accept changes that will make it easier for me to royally screw things up. That may seem like a bit of a masochistic way to, masochistic bit way to do it, but... Uh, it allows me to get good enough that I can do these tutorials. Now, I'm, note the fact that I'm getting pretty far away from my descending node. Eventually, actually, pretty soon, this is probably going to tell me to uh, stop. Alright, it's getting to the point where my uh, ascending, ascending node and descending node are starting to uh, change where they are. So I'm going to keep my hand on my thrust here so I can kill it as soon as it tells me to. If I look at right here, I see how fast I'm going down. So that gives you an idea. For example, let's say I start approaching... Uh, it takes me about... Uh, well, I don't know exactly, but you'll, you'll get an eye for it when you want to start not throttling all the way although you don't want to you don't want to ease it at first you only want to ease it when you get really down to the hair which you'll see me do you'll see you'll see where this number doesn't really give you a good indication this number is if you really want to monkey it and for whatever reason keep in mind rules are made to be broken you want to start a burn over here or something 
again, don't recommend doing it. But if you're the kind of, if uh, think of it this way, if you're doing it, you have a very good reason to do it, and you're probably not learning much from my tutorials. You're probably better than I am if you're uh, having a good reason to do it here, or you really screwed something up. One of the two. So this still counts as a descending node burn. So we're gonna wait for these numbers to get close to zero. Although I'm starting to get pretty ineffective, so I'm gonna stop wasting fuel. And I'm going to accelerate over towards ascending node. You'll notice that I got that far away and it said to kill thrust. Uh, wasn't worth it. I was just wasting fuel, which on a uh, moon trip is precious. Um, that's really the best way I can put it. So I'm going to slow down a little bit because we saw how early before it uh, told me to engage thrust. Which it's not doing that right now, which is a little surprising. Maybe it doesn't want me to do the ascending node at all. Yes, it does want me to do ascending node. So right now I'm at I'm at a one x acceleration. I'm orbit normal negative. Note that it told me to do that. So right at ascending node, which is basically now, I'm going to hit it. You know, I just realized I was probably getting into the microphone. That was me clicking a pen. So, when we go to the moon, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before in these tutorials, and I'm going to treat us to some uh, music to help the time go by. So, this trip's going to take a few days, so be, bear with it. I happen to like the band The Crystal Method, specifically the uh, song High Roller, which you'll get the uh, significance of that once we get to it. Although my thrust is getting down a little bit, so I'm going to stop yammering and uh, start paying attention to my throttle, which you'll see I still have max, but we're getting to the point where I'm not as... Whoa, yeah, I just noticed it told me to kill thrust. Yeah, I really needed to pay attention. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and accelerate towards uh, descending node. Sorry about that. I didn't let it go go long enough that I was really screwing anything up, but uh, most of the problem is that you end up burning fuel. So at descending node, I am going to uh, do my burn and finish up the last of my uh, thrust here. I'm going to 10x over to descending node. It's probably going to... There we go, orbit normal on, uh, exactly on descending node. So here I'm going to be really careful. I'm waiting for, uh, T TTHD is how much thrust it wants me to perform at descending node. So, I'm already pretty much here. Note how fast I'm going down in terms of, uh, percentages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hit this right on the dot. Okay. I'm going to fast forward to ascending node. For a lunar trip, this uh, next one isn't particularly necessary. It's just me being a perfection addict and uh, leading by example in preparing you for the Mars mission.